Hey guys and gals, you want to see something cool? Let's go check it out. So we're going to take a little trip back to late winter or early spring or somewhere in between and uh, show you what I did back then to try and do a little experiment and just prove something to myself and to everybody else because when I made that video about I think the thumbnail says amazing roots and it's because the roots were amazing and I was so excited about it and it was so um, I, I didn't plan it at all it just kind of happened and I forgot all about it anyway I'll post that video up in the corner up there so go back and watch that it's about fig rooting and I got lots of comments about it and people were saying Mike you're full of it man you put the things in a compost pile and it was heated up and they were wrong but i didn't say that in the video that pile was already composted it wasn't warm anymore guys it was just cold soil right but i want to show you something now because it's pretty cool and i'm pretty impressed and uh let's go check it out hey guys and gals let's play a little game and that game is called do you really have to do anything to a fig cutting to get it to root Let's find out. All right, guys, so this is a Desert King fig that I actually rooted as a cutting last uh, late winter, early spring, and it's now in, it grew really strong and healthy. It's now in a two gallon pot. So it's got one long, huge stem here. It's probably getting close to three feet tall. So I am just gonna take a cutting of this guy. Let's just, uh, let's just hack this guy off right here. And we're just going to stick, I'm not even going to use rooting hormone, we're just going to stick that in a pot, put it out in the weather, and just see what happens. Alright, so I've got a one gallon pot here of some composted cow manure, that stuff I'm always talking about using. There's nothing special about it, it came from a local dairy farm. It's just cow manure and wood shavings that have been piled up for a while, that's it. There's nothing warm about it, it's completely composted, it's been sitting out there for over a year now. It's just going to sit in a one gallon pot here. I've got my cutting, it's about 12 inches long. I'm just going to stick it right in there up to the third node. And I got three good solid buds down in there. We're going to pack this guy in a little bit. And that's all I'm going to do. It's raining out right now. For those of you who are interested, it's March 14th today. I'm going to stick it out in the rain, just out in the weather, and we'll come back in. It might even take three months, and we'll see what happens. We'll see if, I mean, there was no rooting hormone on this. There was nothing done to it. It's going to be cold. It's going to be out in the rain. There's no humidity. We're just going to stick it out there and see what happens. All right, so let's go do that now, and we'll check it out again when there's something to check out. Are you ready? Let's go check this thing out. All right, guys, no tricks, no gimmicks. Here it is, same spot I left this thing. I even forgot to water it a bunch and then remembered it and then forgot about it. And I just came out and look what I found, look. Buried in the weeds, look what I found. I thought it was dead. You can't kill these things. You cannot kill these things. Look at this. Let's take it into our little sanctuary. Look at this, guys. I thought it died. Nothing was happening here. It was shriveling up. You can't kill them. Johnny, you can't kill them. And it's beautiful. Look at that. It's got a little growth, little fig coming up from down under there. This just goes to prove, guys, this is that same manure, same manure shavings mix. This just goes, I wanted to do this one because I got so many people saying, that compost pile was hot, Mike. And I'm telling you, it wasn't hot. It had already composted. I dug down in. The soil was cool. And so I wanted to prove it. Well, what if I put it in a one gallon pot and I just stick a cutting and no rooting hormone? Johnny, I'm trying to do a video. No rooting hormone, no nothing, and just put it out there and in the rain, in the cold, in the heat, in the everything, lack of water, too much water, I, you know, it got it all, man, and no rooting hormone. And look at that, look at that. It just proves my point, man. There it is. These figs, are, all right, that's enough, buddy. These figs are amazing to me. I mean, absolutely amazing. The most amazing thing about this is, and the, the most ironic thing is, we spend so much time and energy trying to root these things, man. I mean, so much time and energy. You can get on YouTube right now. You're already on YouTube. But you can go to other fig videos right now, and there are 
hundreds of them probably showing you how to propagate these things and people do the lasagna method and they do the they got humidity domes and no humidity domes and they got heat and no heat and different lighting and they're outside and they're inside and they you know they do them in water and they everybody's got their method man they all got their method i'm just saying i'm just saying look at that look at that it's just so cool man did nothing. No rooting hormone, no nothing. And I've got a beautiful little fig just growing on its own. Did nothing to it. Isn't nature cool, man? So I'm going to put this little guy in the hoop house now. He's earned the right. He has graduated to the next level. And we're going to put him right next to his... We're going to put him right next to his little fig friends, right over here by the Col de Dom Grease that made it through the winter. We let nature take its course. If you haven't seen that video, go click on it now. And, uh... We're gonna see what this guy turns into. I'm excited about it, are you? There you go, little buddy. You've earned it, you've earned it. So here we are again, guys, another fun video to make, and we learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. So if you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you wanna follow along and see all this stuff. You know you guys want to, you're as addicted to this as I am. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.